Hello, hello. Hello, good evening. Hey there. Good evening. Hello. How are you guys? Hi there. Dijo Ana Beatriz que Ajá. se sentía indispuesta otra vez. Se sentía mal. Sí, ah, se ok. Se sentía mal. Entonces ahora no se va a conectar hasta el lunes. Ok, nice. Se anda you. bien mal. Bueno, gracias por avisar, Blanquitas. Sí, okay. ayer me comentó que le tocaba la vacuna. Me sí, imagino se que la le dieron. Y, sí, y le dio bastante síntomas. Ahorita. Híjole, bueno, ni Trabajando. Modo. Ajá. Sí, me imagino. Vaya, ok. Nice. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know that. Nice. All right. So, welcome and good evening to all of you. Uh, nice that you're here. Blanquita, Carlos, María Elena. Luis and Nelson. Really nice to have you here. All right. So first things first, uh, let's start by taking the attendance. So let me see. Ta -da 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 -da. I'll take the attendance uh, before we start. So here we go. Okay, then. so uh, then we have Ana Beatriz Campos that we say she's not uh, she's not going to connect today. So we continue with Blanquita Elizabeth Alvarenga. Thank you very much. Yes. Then we have a uh, Carlos Antonio Escobar. Present. Thank you very much, Carlos. If then we have Carlos Javier Crespin, not here yet. And we continue with Christian Ernesto Lasso. Christian, not here, not yet. Okay. Then we have Denise Grisel Brizuela, not here yet. Then we continue with Ember Giovanni Polio. Not here yet. So we continue with Francisca Elizabeth Martinez. Not here, not yet. Continue with Jose Eduardo Guzman. Jose Eduardo, not here. We continue with Juan Carlos Rivas, Jovel. All right, thank you very much. Very good. And let me see. We continue with Karen Vanessa Morataya. Not here. And next, Luis Alfonso Martinez. Present teacher, good evening, everybody. Hi, hi, welcome. Nice to have you here, Luis. Thank you. Then we continue with Maria Elena Guadalupe Peñate. Good evening, present. Hello, thank you. Good evening, Maria Elena. Welcome. Then we continue with Nelson Gavarrete Merino. Present teacher. All right, thank you, Nelson, and welcome. We also have Omar Francisco Hernandez. Omar Francisco, not here yet. So we move on to Oscar Arnulfo Villatoro. Oscar Arnulfo, not here yet. And last but not least, Jenny Suleima Santos. Jenny Suleima, not here. Okay, all righty then. So we today is Friday and the body knows, right? <laughs> and the, the, the people know. <laughs> oh my God, there you go. All righty. So let's get down to business then. Uh, let's see, um, well, let's review something that we started studying yesterday. Let's see if you remember, we were studying something about there is and there are, right? So we were studying something about these expressions. Uh, we mentioned that we use uh, one of these expressions when it's singular, uh, the other one when it's plural. 
It also depends if you're talking about a countable or an uncountable noun, et cetera, et cetera. So let's see, let's have a little activity here. So we're going to work in two groups. So let me see, let me just take notes here of the groups. So it's going to be group number one. It's going to be Blanquita, eh, Carlos, and Luis. So you are group number one. Group number two, we have Nelson, eh, Maria Elena, and Juan Carlos. All right. So let's see. All righty. So let me share here my screen so that we can see what we're going to do here and let's see here we go all right you let me know once you can see my screen Okay, I guess you can see it now, right? Nice. Okay, then. So here we have these cards, right? That we have played with this before. So let's see. Oh, we, we have some more people now. Let me see. So we have also Grisel has joined the, let me see, the class. So Grisel, you're going to be working in group number one. So eh, let me see, it's going to be Blanquita, Carlos, Luis, and Griselda. Nice. Okay, teacher. Excellent. All right, so let's start then. So we're going to select a number and there you're going to see a picture, right? In that picture, you're going to see that there are some objects and there is going to be like a sentence in which we're going to be missing the expression. There is or there are. So you're just going to complete the phrase or the sentence depending on the picture that you are watching in the background. So let's see, let's start with group number one. So let me see, uh, Blanquita, choose a number. Um, seven. Lucky seven. Number let's seven. See. <laughs> number seven. Teacher. Uh huh. Hello, hello. Oh, good evening. Hey, good evening. Welcome. So, Ellie, you're working in group number two. All right. Nice. <laughs> very, very, yeah, surprise. <laughs> All right. Blanquita, okay. what do you think we're missing here? There, there is. There, there are. Is. There is. There so, is. can you read the complete phrase? There, there is, there is a fridge, fridge. Uh -huh. fridge. fridge in the kitchen. There is a fridge in the kitchen. There and are you sure? Kitchen. Is there a fridge in the kitchen? What's a fridge? Tenedor. Uh -huh. Exactly. It's like a, a short way to say refrigerator, right? Refrigerator is the complete way. And fridge is what we say in Spanish, la refri, right? Ah. The fridge. Yes. Uh -huh. group, but <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> but thank you. Usted participe, usted dele. Not, not, don't let anything thank stop you. <laughs> thank you. Nice, nice. So what do you think, Blanquita? There is or some uh -huh. Remember, we can use it affirmative or negative. Yes, yes, you can. There isn't. There is. So instead of there is affirmative, you say that is the reason, negative. Do you think, do you agree with that, Blanquita? 
किसमें करते हो हाँ किचन वी यूशली हैव अ फ्रिज राइट इन द किचन बट इन दिस पिक्चर नो राइट देर इज एन अ फ्रिज in this kitchen so very good nice so 15 points to you let's see group number 2 let's start with uh maria elena choose a number 11 ah what 11 ah that's for like it. <laughs> <laughs> 11 let's see number 11 ha huh, what about this one cut in the bedroom there is a there there is a cut in the bedroom there is a cut in the bedroom let's see ha uh -huh. let's see if that's it Excellent there you go so you have good eyes <laughs> there is a the cat in the bedroom very good excellent so there you go some points so group number 1 eh uh, let's see carlos number 6 number 6 let's see number 6 says books in the bedroom it is a question Books in the bedroom. There How would are, you... there are mm. books in the bedroom? But it's a question. Are there? Ah. Ah. Are, are there are there books in the bedroom? Are there books in the bedroom? Let's see if that's the correct answer. Exactly. Very good. Here we have. are there is like of course the the structure that we should uh, write as an option thing uh, we there can are. are there because it's a question so as an optional thing we can add any uh, if you remember something about any we mentioned yesterday that we sometimes use it in questions like are there any books in the bedroom could be right but it's not really mandatory to do it So very good. So you got the points. Excellent. Let's see team number two. Uh, Nelson. Nelson. Nelson, are you there? Sorry. There you are. Aha. Uh -huh. Just a number, a uh, Nelson. Nelson. Maybe your internet is not. Your connection is is failing. I guess. So then I will select another person. Let's see, a uh, JC Juan Carlos. Number nine. Number nine. Let's see number nine. What about this one? What would you say? There are there are cats in the box. There are cats, there in, are the box. cats in the box. All right. Final decision. Final decision. Let's see. There, there you go. Right. We he, we could say there again. Are. There are cats in the box, or there are some cats in the box, or there are three cats in the box, right? But one more time, this is not really necessary there in the sentence. If so, that's fine, right? As long as you completed with the expression, there are we're cool. So very good. So nice, JC. Let's see group number one. We go back to Luis. Number 
number one, the one and only for Luis. Let's see. Aha. It's a question, Luis. Pencils on the table. Are there any pencils on the table? Oh, very good. Let's see. Let's check. Excellent. There you go. Are there any pencils on the table? Good. So one more time. Here we can use any or not, right? But Luis decided to use it, so that's wonderful. Perfect. Yes, sir. Thank you. Excellent. Very good. Getting some points then. Let's see. Team number two. We continue with Ellie. Yes, teacher. In number three. Number three. Let's see. Number three for Ellie. Cushions on the sofa. Mm, are are there any cushions on the sofa? Are there any cushions on the sofa? Let's see. Are you sure? Yes. 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 <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> you have to be sure. That's the spirit. Mire que por dudar tanto de mí misma estoy en este nivel. <laughs> Vaya cosa. Teacher, he regresado tres veces en otras academias. Really? Oh my God. No, esta es la, esta es la, la vencida, la tercera es la vencida. So, Ojalá que sí. You will see. So, very good. Are there any cautions on the sofa? Oh, ya ves, nice. Good, good. So, excellent. Let's see. We continue with Grisel. Choose a number. Grisel, Grisel. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Oh, there My microphone is off. <laughs> okay, it went off. Number eight. Number eight. Let's see. Number eight for Grisel. What about this one? Dinosaurs next to the robot. I don't see very good. Here, let me see. Ah, there you go. I can disimagine. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> what do you think? There are three dinosaurs next to the robot. There are three dinosaurs next to the robot. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Nice. So let's see if that's the correct answer. Excellent. There you go. You were more specific. <laughs> Say there are three dinosaurs, right? So that's okay too. If we don't want to be specific, then we say some, right? But in this case, that's perfect, all right? So very good, nice. Okay. All righty, let's see. Group number two, Oscar. Thirteen. Thirteen, let's see number 13. Aha, uh -huh. so let's, let me see. Book under the table, Oscar. There is uh -huh. a book under the table. There is a book under the table. Mm -hmm. Let's see if that's the correct answer. Excellent, there you go. There is a book under the table. Nice, very good. Let's continue with Ember, group number one. Mr. Ember. Are you there, Ember? Or maybe not available. All right, if not, we go with Yeni, with group number one. Hi, teacher, yeah. number five. Number five, let's see. Yeni says number five. Oh my God, no, no points. Me retiro. So... <laughs> Gracias por participar, Yeni. <laughs> oh my God, no points for you. Jesus Christ. Don't... Nothing, nothing happened then. So, 
We go back to group number two. Let me see who else is there that has not been included. Christian. Good evening, teacher. Uh, Good evening. Exactly. This uh, is a, uh -huh. uh, I arrived into my house and... You just arrived. Ah, estamos haciendo un examen, eh, Christian. Examen oral. You ready? Sorry. Eh, no, son mentiras, Christian, son mentiras, no. <laughs> just a game, just a game. Es adaptivo. Ay, no le oigo, me, se, me, se me está cayendo el internet, me iba a decir. <laughs> no, nah, just kidding, Christian. Choose a number from the ones that are here. We're just practicing. So you choose a number. Okay, um, 12. Number 12, let's see. Huh. Now, here you need to complete the phrase with there is, there are, or there isn't, or there aren't. But in this case, it's a question. So what do you think? Okay. Um, is there are. Is there are? Mm. One or the other, right? Mm. It's a question. Sorry. Uh, is are there? Are there? Ah, are there? Are that's there. the box. That sounds more are like there, it. Yes, the box. All right. Very good. Let's see. Let's check. Very good, nice. So here we might add also the expression any, as we were saying before, but again, it's not something that should go there, right? So we can say, are there glasses or are there any glasses in the box? So very good, Christian, nice. So let's see, team number one, we go back to Blanquita. Number six. Ah! Number six. Let's see. Ah, number six. Sixteen. Yeah. Ah, sixteen. Yeah. I'm sorry. Let's see. What about this one? Books on the shelf. What do you think? Books on the shelf. It's a regular sentence. There are. There are. Are you sure? <laughs> Let's see. Uh -huh. There are. There are, let's see. There are on the shelf. Yes, there are or there are some books on the shelf. Teacher, tengo una duda. Some o alguien tiene que ir siempre o not necessarily. No. If we want to speak like in general terms, I can say here there are books on the shelf in general, right? If I want to give the other person uh, the idea of like how many books are there, I can say there are some books on the shelf. And if I want to be more specific, I can say there are like 12 books in the shelf or 10 books in the shelf, right? So it, it can be either or, right? Depending on how we want to express the idea or depending on what we want to say. So, but it's not like really mandatory. It's not an obligation, right? Okay. Nice, very good. All righty then, so nice. So we go with group number two again, Nelson. Hello, teacher. Uh, hey, Nelson. number 10. Number 10, let's see. Number. What about this one, Nelson? Rabbit oh. on the bed. 
rabbit on there the is bed. there is a rabbit on the bed there is a rabbit on the bed let's see if that's the correct answer excellent there you go there is a rabbit on the bed good nice now let's continue with carlos yes teacher le, le quiero ceder mi, mi quiero ceder mi turno a jenny oh my para god que no se sienta, para que no se sienta mal <risa> para que ella también Qué caballeroso carlitos thank you carlos <risa> no esperaba menos de, de carlos muy bien <risa> Nice, let's see. Jenny. Yeah. Eh, <laughs> I love a pensar. Uh, four. <laughs> nice. Number four. four. Let's see. Number four. No, my God. <laughs> Me reivindiqué. <laughs> no, perdieron 25. Oh, perdió 25. <laughs> Ay, no. Oh my God, I can't be. Hoy de su día, Jenny. Jesus Christ. Ay, no. Me retiro del juego. <laughs> Qué terrible. 25 points. Wow. Oh my God. I'm sorry. Ya sabía, Carlito, ¿verdad? No quería hacer ese responsable. Oh, no, 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 para nada. <laughs> all right, all right. So, anyway, let's see. María Elena, group number two. I uh, no. Uh, number two. Number two. For group number two. Let's see. I am scary. Oh my wow, God. Wow, Liv. Liv. I give, I give, I give. I appreciate Para que no se sientan mal. There you have 15 points for you, group number Diga one. Malo, si... <laughs> Let's see. Uy, va arriba. Team number one por cinco. <laughs> All right, so let's see. We continue Perdimos. with Luis. Le cedo mi turno a Jenny, teacher. No. Le regalamos 15, Nelson. Le gusta 15 regalamos. <risa> Vamos a ver. Hombre. Le gusta el maltrato. Vamos, Jenny. Bueno, Jenny. Okay. Bueno, Jenny. Okay. Team, no. Jenny, your decision. 14 or 15? 14, 14. 14, let's see. Ah, right. there you go. We have a sentence. Nice. Okay. All right. What are do you there, think? Are, are there, there any apples? 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 Under the table. Are there any apples under the table? Under the table. Let's see. Would that be the correct answer? Yeah, very good. Are there any apples? <laughs> So the table. There you go. Se reivindicó. Nice. Right. <laughs> Prueba superada. Nice, Jenny. Good. All right. So the last one for oh. number two. This goes for JC. Are you ready, JC? 15. All right. Puede ser que lo perdamos todo. Let's see. Oh, oh, no. There you go. It's a sentence. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So, what do you think? Uh -huh. Is there apple on the table? Is there apple on the table? Are you sure? Are we missing el punto ganador. Todo o nada. <laughs> Todo nada. There you go. Todo so, nada. <laughs> is Double, there? Please. Let's see. Yeah, there you go. Is there? But here, remember? There is an apple. A, an hey, apple. Table. Is there an apple on the table? An because apple. it's only one. An apple. An apple. There you go. But the expression was correct. So, yeah, I'll give it a Team two point. winner. <laughs> Let's see. And, oh, my God. Winners. Team number one. So Con los 15 puntos que le regalamos, perdimos. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, there you go. Por poquito y no ganan, pero ya ven. Anything can happen. <laughs> nice. Sí, ese, ese punto fue cuando dice uno el gol, el último gol es del gane. Exactly. Algo <laughs> así fue. There you go. <laughs> okay, okay. So nice, perfect. No, eso más parece cuando alguien hace un autogol y pierde. ¿no? 
Okay, but anyway, but you all did good. That's the good thing. I guess nobody made a mistake. So good. So uh, this was just like a little review, right? On when to use there is, there are, uh, if we need to use it affirmative, if we need to use it uh, negative. As you can see, it depends on the situation. It depends on the context uh, that we might use it affirmative or negative. Now, let's see. There was a little uh, exercise that we couldn't complete yesterday. And if you remember, let's see, we were in the previous page. So we were on page 21. On page 21, if you remember, one of the last things we did yesterday was a reviewing this conversation in which you have like these uh, questions, right? Is there a conference room in here? And if so, are enough seats for listeners, et cetera, et cetera? No, no, I guess it was not this one. No, it was the previous one. Let me see. Uh, yeah, this was the one that we were reviewing. This was it. So the one that was in uh, just affirmative statements. Uh, there is an office in San Salvador. Uh, there are not many branches in the country. So we were reviewing something about that, right? Now, what are you going to do? Based on this conversation here uh, that we read yesterday, you were supposed to complete a little exercise here using these expressions. Uh, on page 20, page 20, there you have, get in pairs and prepare a two minute conversation about your companies. Uh, you can talk about offices, branches, and in what cities they are, pre uh, they are present, right? So you're going to pretty much describe the different uh, locations or the different branches or offices, headquarters, as you, as you prefer to call them, uh, that your company has in the country, right? Or if you want to mention in other countries, that's fine, right? So in this conversation, you're going to be talking a little bit about that. It doesn't have to be that long. It's just a two minute conversation. So it's more or less something like what you have here in the previous page, like this one, right? Not too long, not too short. So let's see. Um, let's a uh, branches uh, just uh, in case you're wondering what's the meaning of that, that's Branches are the ones that uh, we can see on trees, ramas, right? But in this case, uh, we are not talking about that. In this case, that would be more like sucursales, as we use it in Spanish, right? So if there is a branch in Santa Ana or in San Miguel, et cetera, et cetera. So that's what it means. So I'm going to create then a breakout room so that you can enter in so that you can work on this conversation. So let me see, I know some of you, but I have, some of you are still going home, so don't worry, I'm going to work that out. So let's see, so here we go. All right, so we have here, the first pair we have, Christian and Oscar, so you are, a Pair number one, Francis and Karen, you are pair number two. Blanquita and Juan Carlos, pair number three. Then we have a Grisel and Jenny, you are pair number four. And then we have Carlos, Antonio and Nelson, you are a pair number five. Teacher, todos dos veces conectado. Oh my God, yeah, true, true, true. Nice, nice that you, re that you reminded me. Oh, you as well. Okay, 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 let me see. Let me see then. So I'm going to move. Mandalo dos Nelson Nelson. Mismo grupo. <laughs> yes, I'm going to send one Nelson. Yeah, let me see. To the next room. All right. And let's see. 
Who else is there? Karen, uh, you are also in two devices. I'm going to send Karen. De hecho, los dos Nelson con las dos Karen van a estar. <laughs> okay. So there you go. <laughs> there you go. And Carlos, then bueno. I'm going to. <laughs> nice. You're going to work with Elizabeth, all right? Carlos and Elizabeth. So there you go. So that's the change. And the last one we have, a, let me see. It's going to be a trio here. So it's going to be Carlos, Javier, Luis Alfonso, and Maria Elena. So you're going to be working in group number seven. All right. And that's it. Okay. So I'm going to open uh, the small rooms or the breakout rooms so that you can work on it. I'll give you just like six, seven minutes for you to prepare your conversation. Remember, you can use the previous conversation as an example. No, no, I got copiar tal cual, right? So try to include something different. Try to talk about mm. your own companies, right? So there you go. So the rooms are open now. So you can start working. There you go. Teacher. Yes, uh, Ember, right? You're still driving. Uh -huh. Yes, teacher, I'm driving. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. I included you in a group. You can join just to listen if you want. Uh, but uh, don't worry, you don't need to participate. I know that you're driving. Nice. So nice and brief.
Hey, Jose Eduardo. Good evening, teacher. Hi. Welcome. Voy ahorita. You're driving. And manejar. Ah, okay. Okay, not to worry. If you're driving, that's cool. Ah, ya salí del trabajo ya. Nice. Okay, Jose Eduardo. No hay problema. Este. Tranquilo, ¿verdad? termine de llegar a su casa y, y para mientras solo quédese conectado. Había que, había que estar repasando la, la oración. Y estaban creando ahorita una conversación, pero ya ahorita vamos a, a, a terminar. Ahorita se conectan ya todos de regreso. Ok. Nice. Sí, Good. aquí voy a estar riendo, pendiente. Cool. Nice, José Eduardo. Good. Alrighty. So let's see then. So I guess we are all coming back. Let's see. All right. So I hope you had finished. Let's I hope it was enough time. So let's see. Let's check then that those conversations that you created. So let me see. Do oh, I have oh, another minute, teacher? Not yet. Not yet. You're still <laughs> missing something. You're missing much? <laughs> a poquito? Just a little? Mm. Just a little. Just a little? Okay. You have just a little or you were missing just a little? Just a little. Okay, so let, that's fine then. Okay. <laughs> All right. Do I have any volunteers to go first? Do I have brave people on a Friday who would like to go first? No, nobody. <laughs> let's see then. So let's go in the order that I sent you. So let's start with group number one. Chan, chan, chan. So that was Christian and, oh wait, Christian and Ember. Oscar. Oscar and Oscar. All right. All right. There you go. Nice. <laughs> yeah, true. Ember is a ghost right now. So nice. So okay. let's see. All right. Go. Hello, Christian. How are you? Hello, Oscar. I excellent. It's a beautiful day. Christian. Uh, Oscar, what do you wear? And what do you do? Uh, Christian, I work in CDR company. I work in an administrative area. There are three branches in El Salvador. I am head a visit the three places every month. And you, Christian, where do you work? Um, it is, uh, I work in Casco company, El Salvador. Are you there any branches in El Salvador? Uh, really, no. Uh, it's a spending company. Okay, where is the earthquake? Uh, we are in Santa Elena Industrial Park. Okay, Christian, nice to meet you. See you later. Okay, nice to see you again. Be careful. All right. There you go. Nice, good, excellent. So um, there was a word in headquarter, I guess it's what, what you were trying to say. There is only a headquarter, or where is the headquarter there? So that was good. So Oscar, you mentioned that there are three branches uh, for your company in El Salvador. Are they only in San Salvador or in different cities? In the La Libertad uh -huh. in San Salvador. One right. in La Liberty and two in San Salvador. One in La Libertad and two in San Salvador. All right, good. Okay. And Christian, in your case, it's just like one, just one main headquarters. Exactly. Uh, no branch. Just, just one. No branch. Oh, I see. Okay. Nice. Very good. But that was nice. So thank you very much for that. Good guys. Let's see. Um, Oscar, you select a person. Maria Elena está levantando la mano. Oh my. <laughs> Let's see, Maria Elena. Hi. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. All right. 
Let's see, Maria my Linda. Partners, my partner is Luis and Carlos. All right, so let's see then. Carlos, Javier, Luis, and Maria Elena. Okay, yes. interesting. Let's see. Don Luis, uh, you present. Oh, good, good. Yeah. You have a presentation, nice. But I turn on this, but I don't see it. <laughs> Oops. Hi, hello. <laughs> no, it's Luis. It's the first. The okay. Name. Luis, I guess you're mute. Luis, are you there? Luis, Luis. Luis. Oh. Hello. Oh, I am first. Let me introduce myself. My name is Maria okay. Elena. Nice to meet you. To know uh, Carlos. Hello. And hello, the guy. My company is McCormick. They are the best in the Salvador. Oh, I know. Uh, I know this company. My family cooks with your products. Uh, any time ago, cooks with the products any time ago. Um, because there are products, products are very quality. They are oh, good quality. Thank you. Good quality. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, Maria, what do you say about your company? Oh, my company is Fundación Educo. Uh, we work in seven countries around on the world and in El Salvador are three branches. There are three branches. Three branches. Teacher, sorry, I, I have a problem with my... Uh, oh, with your head? My, my microphone <laughs> for, for a moment, okay? Don't worry. Sorry. Don't sorry, worry, sorry. just go with the flow, Louis. And, Don't worry. And everyone, I present Don Luis. Uh -huh, good. Yeah, so, so, I'm sorry, my, my company is a printer. We don't have any branches in El Salvador because only sales equipment special with a treatment to cancer. Uh, I have representation in, in Barbados, IT. Brazil, uh, Brazil, Brazil, yes, sir, and in South, South America, American, South America, South yeah. America, yes, uh, only only that teacher for my company. All right. Okay, very good. So, what kind of uh, special equipment do you sell, Luis? Uh, treatment, treatment to cancer. Uh, uh, equipment radio uh, radioactive radio, radioactive uh, radioactive radioactive Radio radioactive okay oh i see yes sir uh, oh, nice. we 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 work with with agency international iea uh, mm -hmm. agency international de energia atomica oh wow that's cool interesting in austria in, in austria Oh, nice! Because because Good. because because for uh, I I need learn English. Indeed, okay. because that's the means of communication that you have with people from all these countries, I guess. Yes, sir. Yes, oh, sir. Nice. Very good. Yes, sir. Canada, Canada, USA, mm -hmm. uh, and all England, the England. That's right. Uh -huh. Yes, teachers. Okay, the only that teacher. All right, very good. And Marilena, you mentioned that you work for uh, Educo, right? Fundación Educo. Yes. Oh, nice. It's very good. Right. And what do you do there? Is um foundation mm -hmm. uh, that um, matriz, no sé cómo es en mm -hmm. España. Like the headquarter, the headquarter is in the Spain. The headquarter or? is in Spain. Oh, nice. It's a patrocin, 
It's a sponsor. Uh -huh. a sponsor. And our country, uh, we job with the families and mm. the children. Children. And mm -hmm. Children's in children. project. Social children. In uh, project social projects. In social projects. Oh, interesting. Really nice. And, and we have um, three languages. Español, English, and French. Oh, nice, very good. And all techniques. Uh -huh. um, we, no sé si tenemos. We have. We have. We have. Uh -huh. speak to. <laughs> oh my! Oh, almost. Oh really? So, <laughs> yes. but uh, yeah, and do, me, you, do, and do you speak Andes. French? <laughs> no, me So no, you don't I, speak French? No, I don't. Oh, speak I see. French. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Good. Interesting. So, uh, another goal for you. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. And JC, um, you mentioned something um, there. What, what, where do you work? No, I'm sorry. It was not JC. Right here, teacher. Uh, no, it was Carlos. Carlos. I'm sorry. Sorry, JC. It was Carlos. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. So where do you work, Carlos? Can you repeat that again? In my, in my company is a manufacturer various products in mm -hmm. margines, sauces, sauconing, condiments. Uh, seasoning. Uh -huh. All right. McCormick, right? Sí, yes, yes. And All right. We have several companies in various countries. And in various or many countries. Uh -huh. Yes. Like okay. how, no, that's fine. Like what other countries are, is your company based on? Where do you have your branches? In what other countries, Carlos? Yes. In US, in uh -huh. Canada, uh -huh. in well, todo Suramérica. No sé cómo decir Suramérica. South America, right? South America. South America. South nice. America. All right, very good. I know a very important person that works in McCormick in the U.S. Uh, she's my boss sister, uh, but that's a different story. Anyway, so nice, Carlos. Very good. Okay, good job, guys. Okay. Good. There, there were just a couple of things uh, over there in the conversation that uh, this is for everybody, right? So you have, for example, this um, chair to give you an example. And we have these chairs, right? Whenever we are using singular, we say uh, this, right? This chair, this chair. Whenever we have plural, we need to make sure that we are changing, uh, in this case, the, uh, the article here or the demonstrative pronoun here, these chairs, these chairs, right? Plural. The same happens with that, that chair and those chairs, right? That chair, those chairs, right? So. It always changes uh, depending if it's singular or plural. But that was good. All right, so thank you very much. Great. Before we continue, let's see. Let's take the attendance before I forget. So, ellos no me avisaron de la de la asistencia. Se me durmió el 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 the alarm. Asistencia, teacher. El, el asistente se me durmió. Nice. There you go. Nice, nice. Good. All righty. So let's see then. Let's start. Ana Beatriz Campos. Well, she's not here. Blanca Elizabeth Alvarenga. Present, teacher. Thank you very much, Blanquita. Carlos Antonio Escobar. Present. Thank you, Charlie. Very good. Y Carlos Javier Crespin. Present, teacher. Thank you very much, Carlos. Good. Y then we have Christian Ernesto Lasso. Present, teacher. Thank you very much, Christian. Y Denise Grisel Brizuela. Present, teacher. Thanks a lot, Grisel. Very good. Y then we have Ember Giovanni Polio. 
All right, thank you, Amber, very good. Uh, we continue with Francisca Elizabeth Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Elizabeth, nice. We continue with Jose Eduardo Guzman Alvarez. Jose Eduardo, Jose Eduardo. Are you there? Not there. I guess he got disconnected. No, he's there. All right, I guess he's still driving. Okay. So let's see then uh, Juan Carlos Rivas Jovel. I hear you, teacher. All right, thank you very much, Juan Carlos. So then we have Luis Alfonso Martinez. Present teacher. Excellent, thank you, Luis. We continue with, uh, let me see. Uy, I skipped Karen Vanessa Morataya. Present teacher. All right, thank you, Karen. Let's see, we continue with Maria Elena Guadalupe Peñate. Present. All right, thanks, Maria Elena. And then we have Nelson Gavarrete Merino. Uh, I'm here, teacher. All right, thanks, Nelson. Then we have Omar Francisco Hernandez. Omar, Omar, not here. So we continue with Oscar Arnulfo Villatoro. Present teacher. Thanks, Oscar. And the last but not least, Jenny Suleima Santos. Present teacher. All right, nice Jenny, thank you. Teacher. All right, uh -huh. tell me. A question, uh, uh -huh. what is what the meaning when you say it's a lot? It's a lot. Ajá. It's a lot. Eh, Ajá. Eh, usted lo dijo cuando eh, uno de los compañeros respondió y dijo, it's a lot. Algo así okay. le escuché. Mm, no. No. Thanks a lot. That's what I said. Thanks a lot. Exacto. Ah, thanks. thanks a lot is like literally, muchas gracias, right? Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Very much, también. No, es igual. Mm, uh, thank you very much. Could be, yeah. Thanks a lot. Y, uh, they are like synonyms, right? They are related expressions that we can use to uh, say somebody thank you, right? Instead of the most common expression, just thank you, right? So we can use these expressions too. Okay, thank you. Nice, very good. Good question, actually. All right. So that's pretty much it. So let's see then. Um, um, Maria Elena, you select another person. Uh, let me see, Carlos Antonio. All right, Carlos Antonio. Okay, <laughs> thank you, Maria uh, Elena. <laughs> you're welcome. There you go. So Carlos Antonio and my, Eli. my partner Eli. All right, let's see. My name is Carlos. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Carlos. I am Elizabeth. I am Elizabeth. I work in the university. Ah, I work in the Cotecna. Eh, I work in oh, mm, are dedicated to not the intrusive inspection in the not intrusive inspections in, in, in the fronteras teacher the border, borders. Excuse uh -huh. me, border, in the border in the borders uh -huh. in the borders in San Bartolo in airport the airport in, in my office in the Santa Elena. Mm, yes. I see one office in the airport. Yes. Uh, there, there is uh, one office too. There is one office. Uh -huh. mm, 
We are team of another university in La Union. There aren't branches for the moment. There aren't any branches. Uh -huh. Only that teacher. <laughs> 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 Okay, that's fine. Es que es muy poquito tiempo, no te escuché. <laughs> so, but it was okay, it was nice. So, Francis, you work in a university. What university yes, do you work Yes, teacher. What's the name? Eh, Nauka. Oh, at Uka, very good, excellent. So, Uka doesn't, it doesn't have any more branches, right? It's just one. No, I th I think in San Miguel. Uh -huh. and, oh, really? Um, yes, uh -huh. but it's, it's a small. It's, oh, it's, a, it's smaller than the one in San Salvador. Yes, yes, uh -huh. it's, it's smaller. And uh -huh. I don't remember. I think only in San Miguel. Uh -huh. Nice, interesting. In, in other countries. Uh -huh. Do they? Do they have in other countries? Yes, in other countries. Son como 60. Really? <laughs> They're like 60. I don't remember. Es que uh -huh. English, hizo English. Their nombre, hizo their nombre de Compañía de Jesús. It's their name. It, it's got it. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Ah, sí. Uh -huh. Hizo their name y, y están bajo la Compañía de Jesús. Pero son sorry, 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 teacher. There, are, there, there is uh -huh. in Mexico. There is in Mexico. There uh -huh. is in, in Mexico. Uh -huh. in, in, I don't remember. Teacher. <laughs> Chile. Sorry, so, sorry, teacher. Uh -huh. Yeah, Luis. Uh, I know the, the UCA in Managua. Oh. Yes, in really? Managua. Oh, nice. Yes, uh, I know. Sí. But the quality, calidad is quality. Yes, yes, you're doing good. Uh -huh. the, is, is the best in, in El Salvador. Oh, well, I guess, I'm sure. It's <laughs> it, 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 the best university in El Salvador. Are you yeah. sure? Mm, nah, just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> it's the best in El Salvador, in okay. the other countries. <laughs> yes, it's better than in, in other countries. In Mexico, it's, big, it's bigger than El Salvador. Oh, nice. It's, yes, be, bigger. Uh, it's bigger. Interesting. All right. I thought that it was just a, here in El in Salvador, Mexico, but... In Mexico, is, in Mexico is beautiful in university. Yeah, I, I, I see only in picture, but, but it's, it's, beautiful. <laughs> it's beautiful, yes. Okay, <laughs> nice, very good. You see, nice, Ellie, very good. What about you, Carlos? Where, uh, where do you work? Can you repeat it again? Uh, my, in Cotecna. Oh, nice, and what do you do there? What's what's the business about? Uh, my oh, ah, tenemos un solo cliente que es el gobierno. Oh, so, para, para la DGA. So you have the you you have like a, you work uh, with the government in the in this in, agency, right? In, in the division, the uh, DGA. So that's narcotics. No. Excuse me? Narcotics? Division or no? Narcoticos? Yes. Uh -huh. Oh, all right. Tra trabajamos para nar narcotics. Mm, so that's um, why you work in the border and it's in those places. Oh, yes. In the airport and all that. Oh, that in the airport, sense. San Bartolo. Uh, interesting. All right. And, and the other borders. Uh -huh. Mm, Amatillo, interesting. Amatillo, Poi, Anjatú, uh -huh. uh, the port, uh, Cajutla. Uh -huh. Ah, yes. Mm, nice. Y en día, Ah, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, interesting. There are two uh, key expressions uh, that you can, well, that you might use, right, in your, at work, probably. The border, la frontera, right? Customs, aduana. Uh, so customs. we have we have customs 
in the border. We have customs also at the airport. So that's a term that maybe you would like to, to remember, right? Customs, aduanas. So there you go. All right. So thank you thank very you. much. Nice. All righty. So Carlos, you select another, another person. Denise. All right. Let's see. Grisel and why? <laughs> Grisel and Yemi. <laughs> All right. Okay. Hi, Denise. Hi, Jenny. How are you? Good. I'm living in work. Do you work near me? Nearby. Yes. Uh, what do you do? I work for ABX Industries. Uh, what does the company do? This company dedicates to create capacitors electronics, and there are five plants in different countries in the world. Interesting. And Where are yes. it? The central headquarters is in the United States and have plants in Japan, El Salvador, China, and Czech Republic. Nice. Interesting. Interesting. And you, where do you work? I work in Idecom. Oh, yeah. And what do you do in the company? In Idecom sells cell phones in technology. The headquarters is in El Salvador and branches is in Guatemala, Honduras, in USA. And there are branches. Oh, oh nice. nice. Interesting, you work. Only that teacher. All right, there you go. <laughs> nice, interesting. So a capacitor's electronic, uh -uh. the opposite, right? Electronic capacitor. Electronic capacitor. Okay. I'm sorry. That, that's fine. It, okay. You mentioned that there are uh, some other uh, like branches or uh, you have like these uh, plants in other countries. Yes, I consider that use plant because uh, the process only mm -hmm. is create the capacitor, don't sell. Ah, I see. So they just yes. manufacture, but they don't sell. They yes, then exactly. export. Yes. Oh, and for different, how do you say, providers? Providers. Uh -huh. providers, providers, for example, a Mercedes Benz. Um, Dell, the uh -huh. company of computer, yeah, um, other Intel, uh -huh. and Continental is other other Continental cliente. Uh huh. I Client. Sorry, how do you uh -huh. say client? Client. client. <laughs> <Sorry>. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's why they work. Okay. Yeah, very okay. good. Excellent. And Yeni, you mentioned that it's a company in which you sell like technological devices, like cell phones, stuff like that. Yes. Uh -huh. Any? Do you have like more branches here in El Salvador? Yes, um, twelve branches. Four branches in all in San Salvador well, or in different cities. Different cities: San San Salvador, uh -huh. San Miguel, próximamente, oh, nice. y La Libertad. Wow, very good. So excellent. And do you visit all these branches or no? You stay just in one. Mm, eh, dice? Algunas veces? Sometimes. Sometimes. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sometimes. Uh -huh. yeah. You have to go and visit. Yes. Oh, nice. Very good. All right. What do you do? Do you work like in sales or do you do something I else? I work in sales, but I work in the helpers. Uh -huh. No retail is uh -huh. uh, mayoreo. Like, um, oh, Jesus, you got me with that one. No, uh, with, I don't with TA. With TA? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. yes. Oh, nice. Very good. Interesting. So nice. Excellent. So congratulations to you both. Good job. Nice. Thank you, teacher. All right. So let's see. Jenny, como ya anda eligiendo bien, Jenny. You select another person, Jenny. <laughs> eh, falta. 
We Juan still Carlos. have. All right, there you go, Juan Carlos. Nice. Juan Carlos en Blanquita. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Ready? <coughs> yeah, ready. All right. <laughs> Let's do it. My name is Juan Carlos. Blanquita. Nice to meet you. Qué alegre la oigo. Sorry, la voy. I am Blanca, my company. Y teníamos que hablar de la compañía de nosotros, ¿verdad? Yes. O era. Ah, ok. My company is. Is. AB. ABX. El Salvador. Ah, lo regañaron. Ay, no, no, no puedo tener callado. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's fine, yeah. don't worry. El, el, my company, eh, ¿cómo, se, ¿cómo se dice? ¿Realiza o...? They do or... Uh -huh. they What do, they do is... Uh -huh. Electrónica, electrónica capacitor. Ah, uh, they manufacture. Eh, eh, no sé, manufacture uh -huh. electrónica capacitor eh, en igual a Grisel. Es la misma uh, compañía. Same company, right? Yeah. Sí. Okay. Nice. Eh, las office central, central son de USA y trabaja también en República Checa. Also, Czech Republic. In Malaysia. In Malaysia. In Malaysia. Oh, wow. Nice. Mm -hmm. <coughs> uh -huh, let's see. I guess now it's Juan Carlos third, right? Juan Carlos, ayuda. Ah. <laughs> okay. I know your company. I am working Movi Plus is a center service center. Uh, Movi Plus. There, is, there are two branches in San Salvador and uh, Aguachapan. And give service to all country in its That's it, teacher. All right. Me cuesta hablar hoy. Hoy siento muchas ganas de toser. Yeah, I, I <laughs> le escucho voz de locutor ahora. Yes. So, <laughs> all right. So that's that's fine. Don't worry. Okay. So, well, if Blanquita is the same company as with Brazil, right? So, uh, but you work in different areas. What area are you uh, in? Uh, yeah. In my case, yo operador, operador de materia de soporte. Uh, so work in operations. Se llama... Estoy, ¿cómo decirle? Estoy en área de... Perdón, no mucho puedo inglés. Donde empieza la creación del chip. Ah, so where everything begins in the in the at the beginning of the process of creating the chip. Digamos que la empresa tiene muchas áreas, entonces se divide en varias en varias. ¿Cómo decir de varios procesos? Many processes. Mi área es donde mi área es donde comienza donde comienza el chip. All right. It exists, it exists uh -huh. more than 200 areas in the, in the plant. 
more than two hundred areas. Exist two divisions depend on the material. Uh -huh. Blanca is working in the ceramic, yes, Blanca. Ceramic, yes, uh -huh. yes. And I work uh -huh. in the area of Tantalum, but uh -huh. in my case, I start with go how it operate. Uh -huh. um. But in this moment, I work in the training area. Uh -huh. Are you and working with training? training. Uh -huh. Yes. So you are and the one. I, I uh -huh. know a little bit that all areas. Oh, nice. So a you're, a, you're a trainer now. Yes. Ah, cool. Oh, nice. Very good. Okay. So really interesting. Well, it must be a lot of work because it's a lot of, there's a lot of areas there. Yes. All yes. right. Interesting. Okay. For the machines. Uh -huh. the machines. I the imagine. Have a very long process. Has a long process. Include, include clinics, include, me... yes, include part of that uh, matching of bake. Uh -huh. The material under bakes and yeah. I, it's, <laughs> it's a it's muy grande, muy grande. Okay. Yeah, I'm making an yes. idea in my mind and yeah, I think it's it's a long process. All right. In so my personal you. opinion, uh -huh. I don't believe that exists that the the machines that I see when I go to the work in <laughs> they look, oh, wow. They look very futuristic, probably. Yes. All right, nice. Excellent. So thank you very much for sharing that. And let me see. Well, Juan Carlos, you mentioned what was the name of the company again? Movi Plus. Movi Plus. It's a division from uh, Idecom. Ah, nice. And so you mentioned that you have like some branches in El Salvador, right? Yes, I, we are growing uh, uh -huh. in the Libertad. In La Libertad. In uh -huh. in one branch in our Japan. Oh, good, nice. All right, sounds good. And what do you do? In coming exactly. soon, San Miguel. There you go, nice. <laughs> okay, excellent. In what area do you work, Juan Carlos? Uh, it's technical support. Tech support, interesting. All right, excellent then. Okay, so thank you very much, uh, you two guys. So I guess we are only missing one team here, I guess. So we're just missing Karen, the two Karens and the two Nelsons. Yes. <laughs> so <laughs> let's see. All right, there you go. Voy a compartir la pantalla porque no alcanzo a hacerlo. Okay, nice. <laughs> no terminamos, teacher, pero igual. Don't worry, don't worry. Más, eh. There you go. <laughs> es trabajo en esto, there you go. Y eran cuatro. <laughs> es lo que hay. <laughs> es lo que hay, there you go. Ah, you know. <laughs> Good. Okay. All right. Hi, my name is Karen. Nice to meet you. Nelson. Me dejó, ya no quiere. Oh, perdón, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, eh, no, 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 no. Se me movió. Nice to meet. Nice to meet you. I work for I I I work for Best Technology. DSV Technology. Mm, yes, it's great. Yes. Uh, what are they doing there in your company? Uh, in my company, we sell technological and country products. That's great. Uh -huh. Nice. Nelson? Nelson? We lost him. No. Yeah. <laughs> oh, me, sacó de, me sacó el Zoom. Oh, there you go, there you go. <laughs> me sacó, perdón, perdón. 
Don't worry. I'm sorry. Just continue, Nelson. Don't worry. Uh, uh -huh. where, is it where do you work? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yes. Karen? Okay. <laughs> I work at Confetti. This is a clothing export. We export to the United States, Mr. Canada, Mr. and the United Kingdom. All right, there you are. Clothing, clothing exporter. Clothing right? exporter. Very good, nice. So, uh, Karen, your company, uh, Confetti, is based okay. here in El Salvador, uh, but you have like some uh, branches in other countries. Yeah. Uh, or no, you just send them the, the clothes or the materials. I don't know how to explain. The, uh -huh. the headquarters is in Miami. Mm, so okay. We produce, uh -huh. the, the produce, the production plant is in El Salvador. Uh -huh. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Here and in the Philippines. <laughs> sí. Entonces, uh -huh. Oh, I see then. All right. So pretty much here, I guess you assemble probably the clothing and everything, and then you send it back. In El Salvador, uh, we design, we produce, mm. we emballage, and uh, all. Oh, wow. And only export to the office in Miami. Mm -hmm. And oh, okay. to Miami, uh, Ellos lo reparten, no sé cómo decirlo ellos. They distribute the product. They, they the distribute the product. product. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. What are some brands they, that are there in terms of clothing that are managed by your company? Sorry, I don't understand. Like, for example, I have a, a student who works in like... Uh, in, in a factory like Confetti, but it's another name. I don't remember the name. But they have some brands like Columbia. Eh, they manage these brands. Eh, uh, mm. No. No, it's not your case. No. We produce uh, cloud for exclusive lines and boutiques in a specific. Oh. oh, wow. That's cool. Nice. Excellent. Yeah. All right. It, what's your area? Where do you work as a designer? Uh, no. No, I'm a marketing assistant. Oh, I see. Uh, Nice. Yeah. Oh, very good. Nice. So excellent. Good job then. And Nelson, what do you do there, Nelson? Can you hear me? Hello? Yes. What do you do there at your company? I'm sorry, this year. Oh cuántas sucursales tengo? No, what do you do? What's your position or what's what you do at work? Ah. Uh, in the uh, old man. I'm sorry? I am, I am old man. I am old man. Not sure if I'm understanding. What, is, what are some of your responsibilities? Old man. Uh, Hotman, ah. Yeah, it's a router. Ah. O sea, tener mi ruta, verdad? Esa es mi responsabilidad. Soy mensajero, como se llama. Like a. Mi ruta, no sé en inglés. Ah. So you're like a messenger there. So you, you go, you, uh, for example, plan a route, mm -hmm. and then you go and deliver some, uh, yes. no, correspondence. Okay, yes. Oh, I see. The uh, uh, gestor de cobros. Oh, nice. Or oh, you're also uh, in charge of. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. All yes. right. Nice. Thank you very much, Nelson. Excellent. A veces en motorcycle, muchas veces en automóvil. Okay. As so by car. Okay. Nice. Excellent, Dad. 
All right, guys. So very good. Good job, everybody. So you pretty much were able to explain what you do. So nice. It's really interesting to listen uh, well to these uh, things that you do at work. And it's really nice to hear that you can do it in English. So perfect. That's the way uh, we need to practice, right? So very good. Congratulations. Now, coming back to this, uh, here we have something. Let me just share my screen again. And here we go. Since we are uh, practicing something related to uh, questions, let me see, I don't want to lose this. Uh, here, no, not this one, this one. So today we're going to focus a little bit more in questions with there is and there are. So we already mentioned like the structure or the order we need to follow to ask the question, but just in case, um, let me just note it here. So we know that if it's a question, we always start with the verb to be. Both expressions, they make use of the verb to be, is or are. So. If it's an affirmative statement, we already know that we say something like, there is, uh, let's see, there is a meeting room, Jesus, a meeting room in my office. There is a meeting room in my office, but I can say, if, it, this is a, if this were a question that we know, I need to invert the order, right? Is there any, let's say just a meeting room in your office? Is there a meeting room in your office? So this is the difference between an affirmative statement and a question the order of the components or the elements of the expression. So pretty much, as I was telling you, if I could use any or not, depending on the context, right? If I want to use this in plural, for example, if I want to say that maybe there is not just one, but more than one, so then that's, when I use any, uh, but I need to change here. Are there any meeting rooms in your office, right? Same as we were doing before, depends if you're talking about singular or plural, right? Uh -huh. Tell me. I have questions to mm -hmm. ask. And, yes. then, and then when you, you said so, mm -hmm. is, is only affirmative sentences. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, we just use any with negative statements and questions. And we use some for affirmative sentences. Mm -hmm. For example, if I would like to say, um, there are some people in the elevator. There are some people in the elevator, right? In this case, I don't want, I don't know like the specific number of people, so I use some and I can use it because it's an affirmative statement. Mm, okay, and then are there any people in the, in the elevator? Si fuera uh, question. Exactly, are there uh, any people in the elevator? Uh, Very good, there you well, go. Mil años, entiendo eso. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. But there you go, you did it, excellent. Nice, Ellie, good. All righty, so very good. Now that we are clear about like the structure that we need to follow, we have this conversation. It says, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna read it for you. So you just listen for the correct pronunciation of these words. It says, oh wait. Good morning, are you, please forgive them for this mistake here. There should be an E here. So good morning, are you Michael Perez? Good morning, yes I am. My name is Jane Jenner. I'm the supervisor on duty. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Ms. Jenner. 
let's get started. Is there a conference room in here? And if so, are there enough seats for our listeners? Yes, absolutely. The conference room is next to the training room. Got it. How about lounges or recreational places? Is there a lounge? Yes, it is in front of the cafeteria inside the new building wing. There you go. What are they talking about here? What type of conversation do they have? What are they talking about? Any ideas? About a training room in a uh -huh. different room. Ah, so they are talking about like different rooms inside the company, right? Like if the company has like these different places there. So very good. What's a lunch? Here they are mentioning a lunch. What's that? A lunch. Any ideas on what that could be? Como hospedarse. Mm. Un salón. Aha, it's a room. But what type of room is that? What type of room is that? It's some room t-shirt. Aha. Uh -huh. And what do we do there in that room? More, more, more one, no? Uh -huh. Along, uh, gotta have a bad lunch or rec recreational places. Uh -huh. He's talk talking about some, some, some lunches. Lunches, uh -huh. So they are like, rooms where we can be there just resting talking like having a nice conversation with someone that's a lunch right so we can consider that like a recreational place inside a company or inside a building so could be right since it would be like a nice place eh, to stay there right to spend some time so good all right now Besides this, here we have, as you can see, it's making emphasis on the use of these questions, right? The use of the structure for a question. So I have one more exercise for you uh, about the use of questions. Uh, so let me see. So we're going to do something. I'm going to share with you the link but first, I want to show you how this is going to work. Let me see. So I'm going to share my screen here. Here we go. So I have this little practice here, and it's about questions with uh, there is and there are. So based on these pictures that you're going to see here, here we have a fridge, right? a refrigerator, and there we have some things inside. So what are we going to do? We're going to first answer these questions based in or based on what we can see here. If there is or not a certain, or if there are or not certain products here inside the fridge. So you're going to select one or the other here, right? Then we have a, well, here is, it's just the same thing, but then we have here, you will have to select, depending on the complement for the question, you will have to select one or the other with is or with are, right? Depending if it's singular or plural. And in the last one, it's a listening. So to hear, the audio, you just need to click here in the happy face or not so happy face here. You will click on it and you will listen. There are some eggs. All right, you will listen a sentence. 
So based on what you hear, you're going to select true or false, right? And that's pretty much it. Then you will send it as you did yesterday. So remember, enviar mis respuestas, your names, the group, which is B5, is subject English, and my personal email, right? Rolling Stone 06. Okay, so I'm gonna share with you the link so that you can work on it. So there you go. And you're going to work in the same groups that you, that you were working for the conversation. So I'm going to open again the breakout rooms and I'll give you, let's say, seven minutes for you to, com uh, for you to complete it, all right? So I'm opening the rooms now. Don't forget to include uh, the names of the people that were working with you, okay? So you can join now. Teacher, vamos a trabajar uno por los dos. Uh, the two of you, right? The two of you. In your case, uh, you and Nelson. Okay. Uh, but just one, uh, just one document. You're just going to send okay. one. Yes. Puede pasar su correo, por Sure. I will send it here in the chat as well. So here we go. There you go. Nice. Teacher, yo lo puedo entrar a, a mi grupo. Y let me see. Teacher, yes. don't send the alert. Don't what? Don't send the alert for my. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. For let me my see. Team. Let me check. And... Hmm, that's weird. Sí, me sale que se enviaron. Wait, wait, wait. Let me try one more time. Oscar. Let's see. Jesus. All right, so I'm gonna send you Oscar with Christian in group number one. There you go. All right. So I guess you receive it now. Yes, yes. Nice, excellent. And let me see, Jose Eduardo, I'm going to send you with group number three. There you go. And Luis, yeah. You should be there. It, le debería de aparecer, Luis. No, number seven, teacher. Uh -huh. no. Yeah, no. Let me see. I'm going to do it again. Let me see. Let me try. Yes, yes, teacher. Uh, in this moment, okay. Okay, try the last one that I sent. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank All you. right, okay. good, good. Nice. And Ember, are you there or you haven't uh, arrived home, Ember? Well, I guess you are still driving, so don't worry.
right, so I guess they're all returning. One one million people, this no, no, <laughs> one more minute, one more minute. One, <laughs> oh my god, yes. sorry that I interrupted you, Jesus. Let's see, but don't worry, don't worry, you still have some time while I'm uh, passing the attendance, uh, you still can finish while I'm just uh, taking the attendance, so don't worry, don't worry. Okay, so let's see, well, let's wait for the rest, they're about to, they're about to join, so they're going to be here in exactly one second. And here they are, good. Okay then, so very good, nice. So let's see, I'm sorry that I, I, I know that I cut your inspiration, but uh, I just noticed that we're running out of time. So anyway, so if you weren't able to send it before we close the sessions, don't worry, you can send it uh, later on, as long as you send it, right? Don't forget it. Okay, I'm going to take attendance because it's 10 already. Time flew today for me. So let's see. I'm going to do it really quick. Eh, Ana Beatriz Campos de Guzman, not here. Eh, Blanca Elizabeth Alvarenga. Present Thank you very much. Carlos Antonio Escobar. Present. Thank you. Eh, Carlos Javier Crespin. Present teacher, present. Thanks, Carlos. Uh, Christian Ernesto Lasso. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Uh, Denise Grisel Brizuela. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Ember Giovanni Polio. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Uh, Francisca Elizabeth Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Uh, Jose Eduardo Guzman. Present teacher. Thanks, thanks a lot. Let's see, um, Juan Carlos Rivas. Juan Carlos. Not there, we lost Juan Carlos. All right, Karen Vanessa Morataya. Present teacher. Thank you, Karen. Luis Alfonso Martinez. Present, Juan Carlos, how you start? Thank you, yeah, uh, there you go, yeah. Thank you, Luis. Eh, María Elena Guadalupe Peñate. Present teacher. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm sorry? They see, I think so, it's a sick. Oh, yes, I guess it is because of, her, of his voice. Yeah, so yeah, don't worry, eh, JC. So you are here. I marked that you were present. So we continue with uh, Nelson Gavarrete Merino. Nelson, Nelson. Thank you, teacher. Okay, nice, thank you. Omar Francisco Hernandez. I'm here, I'm here. All right, thank you very much. And let me see, Omar not here, right? No, Omar is not present. And so let's see. Oscar Arnulfo Villatoro. Present teacher. Thank you, Oscar. And Jenny Suleima Santos. Teacher. Aha, uh -huh. tell me. Yo tengo un problema de la plataforma con la con la tarea número 6. Hay dos preguntas que no me salen. Por más que le ponga todo lo que le ponga, no me sale. Ah, mi. Ah, es, También, en serio. La tres y la, ah, y la ah, cinco y la ajá. cinco. Se la sí. pone mal. Como malas. Ah, como malas. Eso es lo que me estaba diciendo Cristian ayer, entonces, creo. Sí, yo la intenté hacer con todas las formas y nada. <risa> Vaya, este, déjenme dejar una nota para las personas de de IT para que vean qué onda ahí, qué pasó con la con la respuesta correcta. Y para que lo revisen, no se preocupen por eso. Es la tarea 6, ¿verdad? Lo voy a anotar. Sí, es la tarea 6. Tarea 6. Es la que correspondía a la, ayer. Ambas. Y las preguntas, ¿se acuerdan cuáles eran las que le daban problemas? Mm. Se lo mandamos al grupo, mejor. Sí, mándelo al grupo este, para que lo podamos revisar. 
sí, porque yo de hecho de varias formas y, 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 y ya nada. pregunté y, y, y todo se me dice. Ok, chivo, no, no se preocupen, hay ese error entonces del sistema. So nice. Ok, guys, este ahora le corresponde quedarse a Ember. Ember se puede quedar unos minutitos extra. Sí. Teacher, creo que no podría. No sé no si le sale. mi compañero quiere cambiar. ¿Y Eli si es la que sigue en la lista o si no, puede ser voluntario? Yes, teacher. Ah, ok. Nice. Eli, entonces. Excellent. All right, then. So, for the rest, thank you very much for being here. Have a wonderful weekend. Get some rest. And I'll see you on Monday. See you in short bye. All right. Weekend. Take care. Thank you. Good night, Thank you very everybody. much. Enjoy Good your night. weekend. Bye-bye. Good, 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 Good night, teacher. Bye-bye. Good night. Happy Good night. Happy night. Thank you. Bye -bye. Same to you. Bye-bye. Nice. All righty. Let's see. Okay. Bye, Eli. Bye-bye. Ok, hoy sí, Eli, Eli. So, feliz, feliz. <ríe> <ríe> Tenemos por ahí cinco o seis minutitos. Este, en caso que usted tenga alguna duda, no tiene que ser necesariamente de, de, de los temas que estamos viendo, pueden ser de otros temas que han quedado por ahí en el aire, eh, de otros niveles o un tema en general que, que tal vez a usted le, se le dificulte. Hoy es cuando, hoy puede aprovechar Eli. Ay, teacher, a mí todo se me dificulta. Por eso estoy aquí. ¿Y qué pasó? ¿Cómo fue eso de que, que usted iba para, que estaba en otro nivel? ¿O que, ¿Cómo es que quedó aquí? Sí, no, no, este, yo empecé de nivel número uno en otro lado Ajá. y llegué al nivel número siete de los 21. Ah, y ah. ahí en el nivel siete me frustré. Bueno, usted no tiene una idea. Porque ya llevaba como año y medio para ese nivel 7. Porque oh, íbamos yeah. muy bien lento. Como Ajá. era sabatino, entonces duraba dos yeah. meses cada nivel. Sí, costaba más. Sí, y después regresé al nivel 3, yo solita. Ajá. Cuando ya iba en el nivel 7, se vino lo de la pandemia. No, no. iba en el nivel 5, creo, se vino Ajá. lo de la pandemia. Después volví a regresar y cuando llegué al nivel 7 lo reprobé. Volví Ajá. a pasar al nivel, volví a repetir el nivel 7, lo volví a reprobar y entonces volví a empezar aquí desde el nivel número 1. <ríe> o sea que he estado aquí desde el 1. Ya he sí. llevado la frecuencia. Ah, sí. ya. A ver, aquí como me va. A ver si de aquí paso del 7. <ríe> Hombre, aquí, tiene que, de aquí se tiene que graduar el. <ríe> Ay, sí, ya a ver que sí, ya a ver que sí. Ok, y algo que se le haya dificultado, Eli, en este tiempo, algo que, que usted diga de verdad, ¿verdad? que no, no le hallo o que le sea bastante difícil. Hablar. <ríe> Hablar en general. Sí, porque fíjese que vaya, si alguien me pregunta, yo le respondo uh -huh. en inglés, más la, o sea, las preguntas. Pero si, si el profesor ve haciendo el examen y, y me dice que yo le pregunte a él, aunque yo ya le haya respondido, yo no, no, le, no le pregunto. No, uh, no puedo. Ok, bye. Yo siento que en su caso, eh, Elizabeth, ¿cómo le gusta más? ¿Elizabeth, Eli, Francis? No, Elizabeth o Eli, Elizabeth, Francis. O Eli, no, no me acuerdo de ese nombre. <ríe> Vaya, el, Eli entonces. Eli, yo siento que en su caso... Y usted tiene la estructura y creo que tiene el vocabulario y todo, pero por alguna razón se le corta. O sea, usted le, se queda así como de... Mmm, y se me va el español, porque yo sé que, pues sí, no se quiere quedar callada y lo quiere decir como rápido, y se me va el español porque es lo más fácil. Pero yo sé que usted tiene la, 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 la capacidad y tiene la, las... Siento que el vocabulario todo lo tiene, porque ahora que, que le estuve preguntando, empezó bien, empezó bien y todo. De repente se me empezó a ir para el español. Después la traje de regreso y, y siguió bien. O sea, 
eh, eh, creo que está todo acá. Es una cuestión quizás de seguridad que hasta cierto punto es normal. Y um, todos, quizás cuando estamos empezando, nos da miedito, no nos queremos equivocar, creemos que vamos a pronunciar mal, o a veces solo queremos responder rápido porque nos da pena. Y pasan muchas cosas, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿qué podemos hacer en este caso? Um, creo que el mayor problema para aprender a hablar no es que no tenemos con quién practicar. Es lo que siempre uno dice, ¿y con quién hablo inglés? ¿Y con quién practico? ¿Cómo agarro esa seguridad entonces si no puedo practicarlo? Si sí se puede. ¿Cómo? Imitando a alguien. Y yo, bueno, igual en mi caso, cuando yo estudiaba, no tenía nadie a quien, con quien practicar ya en la casa, fuera de la clase. Entonces, ¿qué hacía? Ponía un programa eh, que estuviera en inglés. Hay uno que, que de hecho me gusta, me gustaba, eh, el del show de Jimmy Kimmel. Y Jimmy Kimmel es como un presentador, ¿no? Él es como un host. Entonces él tiene su programa y él entrevistaba gente y él hacía bromas. Y me parecía mucho como querer imitar ese acento que él tenía. Y entonces yo lo repetía, repetía como las frases que él decía. A veces él decía cosas y yo las repetía en mi mente y las repetía así en voz alta. Y así, o sea, a tratar de imitar, de tomar un ejemplo, de imitarlo, ¿no? Este, tratar de emular ese, el mismo tono de voz, este, los altos y bajos que hacen, para que no suene el, el inglés plano, como el español a veces que hablamos, ¿no? Y me sirvió hacer eso y leer en voz alta. Leer en voz alta, o sea, agarrar un libro de texto cualquiera, no tiene que ser un libro, puede ser una revista, un artículo chiquito, un cuento para niños, este, lo que sea, pero leerlo en voz alta. Hoy en día eh, tenemos la ventaja de que podemos buscar un texto en alguna página web y ahí nos lo va leyendo. Entonces uno puede ir repitiendo, puede escucharlo y después lo repito en voz alta. De ahí lo vuelvo a escuchar. Y si algo no me queda claro una palabra, voy y la escucho de nuevo hasta que la estoy repitiendo bien. El inglés al inicio en parte es repetición, ¿verdad? Es, es como de... Eh, repetir hasta que me salga bien, hasta que lo, lo pueda pronunciar bien y más que todo también es desarrollar esa seguridad en, de que no vea, yo lo voy a decir, yo me voy a aventar y si no, pues que me corrijan, ¿verdad? que me digan no, no era así, pero yo lo voy a intentar, pero no quedarnos con la, como con la intención o, 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 o tratar de no decirlo en, en español toda la idea sino que intentarlo, ¿no? Creo que en eso radica gran parte de, de avanzar, de salir de esa área. Mm, y, pero no es que yo, yo no haya hecho nada por aprender, porque... Ajá. No, me imagino de, que de no. Querer, de querer aprender, este, encontré una en YouTube, unos muñequitos que son en inglés, con subtítulos en inglés, es Ajá. Story for Kicks. Entonces, ah, y, y son fábulas bien bonitas. Este, uh -huh. La que más me gusta es una que chía en tojo, creo que se llama el niño. Uh -huh. Entonces, es, no sé si es una profesora o... Pero ella le cuenta historias al niño. Uh -huh. Entonces, y yo lo he buscado. Mira los libros que nosotros utilizábamos allá en la otra. Ah, es, ese nosotros... es el top notch. Ah, no, World Link. Ajá. Entonces, Ajá. estos son los libros que nosotros ocupábamos. Y yo leía Ajá. y leía el libro. Pero ya. Pues. <ríe> este, yo siento que, ajá, a veces mmm, el material, bueno, digamos, los libros de inglés vienen a veces diseñados para sí guiarnos con alguien. Y en internet podemos hallar material que es un poco más amistoso con nosotros, digámoslo así que nos puede, nos puede servir tal vez un poco más para eso, ¿no? para, 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 para despuntar un poquito en ese sentido, en, en hablarlo. Y pues no crea, o sea, yo era uno, yo siempre le digo a la gente, si yo pude, cualquiera puede. Yo era uno de los que en las clases 
nada, ni para atrás ni para adelante. Me caía mal que me preguntaran, me caía mal que nos pusieran a jugar y que, que yo tuviera que hablar. O sea, yo quería que me dieran la clase a la antigua. ¿verdad? Y a veces mis compañeros querían practicar afuera de la clase, poníamos a la cafetería o algún lugar o en el bus y ellos querían hablar inglés. Y yo, no, hombre, ahorita no, ya salimos de clase, les decía yo, ya, ya estuvo. ¿verdad? Pero fíjese que con el tiempo me llegué a dar cuenta de que realmente sí sirve, ¿no? O sea, sí, esa es la, esa es la actitud que uno debe de tener, de tratar de hablarlo en todo momento, andando en la calle, ¿verdad? ¿cómo diría esto? ¿Cómo diría tal cosa? Tal vez expresiones de uso común o sencilla, ¿verdad? Que nosotros ocupamos en el día a día, ¿cómo la diría en inglés? Y busco, ¿verdad? Si no sé, la busco. Y así irme armando como mi... mi mi léxico, mi vocabulario, para cuando yo tenga que hablar de otra, con otra persona algo trivial o normal, tener una idea de cómo hacerlo, ¿no? Son cositas y es un proceso que toma tiempo, pero a veces nos vamos quedando en zonas de confort que tenemos que empujarnos a salir de ahí, ¿verdad? tenemos que, que sacarnos a veces a la, a la brava, eh, como en mi caso, que yo le digo, o sea, realmente me tuve que, que cambiar el mindset eh, para yo salir de esa zona de confort hasta cierto punto en la que estaba. Incluso me gradué y yo decía, algo me falta. Todavía siento que puedo ser mejor, ¿verdad? Me metí a un call center a trabajar como casi dos años y eso sí me, me terminó de, de servir de, de, de graduación. Ya pasar todo el día, 10 horas, hablando en inglés. Entonces, si a eso, escuchando gente hablar en inglés, uno se le va quedando expresiones, la manera de, de hablarlo. Por eso le digo, el, el, la experiencia o el escuchar y el poder imitar a la gente, creo que es lo que también nos, nos hace pasar a, al otro nivel. ¿verdad? Así que por ahí podría andar la cosa. Verdad. Sí, <risa> pero tranqui, Eli, o sea, sí, no, no se desespere que, que de que llega, llega, estoy seguro. Sí, nice. ojalá. <risa> ok, Elizabeth, bueno, espero de algo le, le haya servido los, los, los tips por ahí, le voy a mandar por ahí un material el, el, fin, el fin de semana eh, al grupo para que todos lo puedan tener para que los puedan escuchar, para que puedan escuchar diferentes cositas y practiquen, vea, practiquen listening y practiquen, tal vez les sirva también para el vocabulario en su speaking, ¿no? Mm. Thank, nice. thank you, teacher. Okay, my pleasure, Elizabeth. Thank you very much for your time and well, have a nice weekend, enjoy your weekend and I'll see you on Monday. Yeah, how I... Ay, se me olvidó. A good night. Have a good night. There you go. Nice, Elizabeth. Take care. Bye-bye. See you. Bye. Bye.